Mark McNeil, pillar of the community, doctor, lawyer, bishop in the Mormon church, and his wife, Michelle. Many say she had a heart of gold, a former beauty queen, the picture-perfect couple, part of the picture-perfect family. But we are getting some new information going way back to the 1970s. Her own mother, Helen Summer, said she had a bad feeling about Martin McNeil from the beginning, even told her other two daughters more than 30 years ago she wouldn't be surprised someday if Martin McNeil killed Michelle. That's the backdrop some bad feelings. Did mom know best? Well, we shall see what a jury has to say about that. And then let's get to the children who are really going to decide this case, starting with little Ada, six years old when her mother, when she finds her mother and her lifeless body in the bathtub. She's six at the time. She gave an interview uh, to professionals, and that's going to be the basis of her testimony. She's 12 years old now. Her legal guardian is her sister, Alexis, and Alexis could decide this case. She's a daughter who believes dad killed mom. How about that quote right there? But Alexis cared for her mother after this facelift. She took meticulous notes about the medication mom was taking to the point where she says she had weaned mom down to two Percocet a day. So the question off that is, if that's the case, why would Michelle take this dangerous cocktail of drugs that would contribute to her death? Rachel McNeil also believes dad killed mom. Her testimony, just heartbreaking. She is a shattered woman and could barely even say the name of the mistress because it all comes back to Gypsy, the mistress.